you can fuck all the way off and then you can fuck off some more and then dig really deep and find some more space to fuck off into. Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season four, episode nine of The Expanse. And this episode is called Seculum. And I did a bit of research around the word because I wasn't 100% sure um, what it meant. And it actually relates to a length of time that's about equal to the lifetime of one person. Or it can relate to the complete renewal of a human population. So how it takes, say, an entire community to all die and breed again so the population has been replaced. Um, and I went down a bit of a, a, bit of a rabbit hole with it because it was first developed by the Etruscans. And I was like, oh... Oh, the Etruscans, were they the Romans? They around the Roman times? Oh, just, oh, gone. So that's been my last half an hour. But back to the expanse. Today, um, we are in the penultimate episode of the show. And kind of all of our character arcs are kind of entering into that home straight all at the same time. And they seem to be at about the same place too. So I think Avasarala is probably easiest. Avasarala is burning all of her bridges, literally. Managed to create a wedge between her and Arjun. She's distanced from her advisors, but she is winning at her game currently. So she's winning, but at what cost? And as I said during the discussion and review after episode eight, we have seen this from season one with Avasarala, the big storyline with her and Frank de Graaf, the Martian ambassador, from Earth, who'd, you know, seen this girl grow up, even as a child, she had to, you know, cheat to win a game of cards because she just couldn't, you know, bear to lose. And he'd realised that what he saw in that little girl was happening to him because she totally threw Frank de Graff under the bus, exploited him to make sure that she could win the game that she was playing at that point. And it cost her her relationship with Frank de Graff, who then ended up being murdered anyway. So we have seen Vassarala really burn relationships to the ground to win. There was the other guy that she met up with, if you remember, in like the underground, the, the aquarium place. And she was like, oh, your son, it would be a shame if anything happened to him. Just, you know, there just so many times that Vassarala has, you know, exploited someone's vulnerability or has exploited someone's vulnerability to get her way, even if their vulnerability is their love for their own child or their love for her, she will do it. The interesting thing is, it, I still love a Vassarala. So even though I'm disagreeing with her in about every way that I can really this season, you know, politically she's taken a position that I, I wouldn't, I'd definitely be voting for Nancy Gang. And that's not because I think I'm right and because it's all safe. It's because I actually think ultimately that's what people are going to do. And I think buying people into a managed process for opening the ring gates is far better than the sort of stuff that Avasarala has been doing, which is sort of implying nobody's ever going to go through. So that's where Avasarala is. And we're now going to see what the results of her mendacious shenanigans of last episode were, what level of panic is Earth going to reach. Um, I think it would be certainly be putting me off if if I'd seen those things, but equally that's one planet out of what like fourteen hundred. So, I mean, I think you'd have to be pretty naive to to go on a trip. I'm not saying that there weren't naive people about, it, but you'd be pretty naive if you're going to go on a be a pilgrim and expect no drama. It's, you know, read a, read a history book. On Illus, we had a kind of temporary lifting of. The pressure at the end of last episode, we've got people sight back. Green Eye has been defeated by science. We've got the um, Rosi able to pull the barb out of orbit, so they bought themselves some time. But we still have no understanding of how we're going to get the fusion drives going. Um, but it does mean that what they can do, hopefully, is move past the moons. And that they, their theory is that once they're past the moons, the effect of the proto molecule will stop. So that's our kind of backstop. And the, the reason that they needed to take the barb with them rather than just extract the crew and let it drop was because of the lithium. They've got a whole mining, you know, load of lithium that they want to be able to sell, and they need that 
in order to be able to kind of get a lawyer and everything else to try and get their claim for illness down. What none of them knows is that Mercury has rigged up a, the second shuttle. So there's two shuttles that they're expecting to leave the planet in to go up to the Rosie, um, but they won't be <laughs> because one of those shuttles is a bomb with a proximity de detonator, I think. So it looks like what Mercury's plan is, is to get all of his people in one ship, everyone else in another ship, blow it, claim the planet. And I, I can't believe we're going to get through this unscathed. So that's probably the one of the areas this freaking me out the most is actually where is that going and who are we going to lose? I've got a horrible feeling we're going to lose Dr. Okoye, um, LV, because I really, really love her. I've really grown to enjoy her this season. Um, and, you know, the scripts and anchors. It's going to be interesting to see how Chandra's feelings for Amos actually because she has clearly got feelings and are they going to override her self-interest and her relationship with Mercury so she's another one that could possibly be on the chopping block I'm talking to chopping blocks I'm also worried about Drummer and Ashford they've now separated we had Drummer quit the OPA after the Fred debacle lots of people think Fred was right lots of people think Fred was wrong I'm in the group of people that, that thinks Fred was wrong but this is one of those things where it's not an objective fact it's about your approach and your strategy and your political beliefs vis-a-vis -vis the belters and the inners and all of that stuff so I think people kind of insist in there's a right answer is not really the way to go about this question it's just like why you feel the way you feel is the more interesting thing because I think it tells you a lot about your kind of your value system your priorities those kinds of things so to me yeah Fred is up operating like an inner and he's n and he's not seeing how that would impact belter um kind of society for want of a, of a better phrase that to me is what's the issue with what he's doing um i think it's always it was a strategic mistake to let marco live in the first place which was on drummer i love that ashford is standing up for her and i can totally see the reasoning but I still think that they could have put down those factions more easily than they could deal with Marco. So I would have personally gone for killing Marco or finding some way to let him fuck his own plan up than let him kind of live in the way that they did. The bottom line is, you know, his mission to fuck with the Vassarella worked. That will unite the APA as the sort of response comes back from, from Earth and or Mars. That's going to be even more kind of, of a recruitment drive to, to Marco's wing of the APA. And it will be interesting to see where Drummer goes with that. Because I think Marco's philosophy is very, very close to Drummer's in, in terms of their espoused philosophy. The difference is I think Drummer drummer's philosophy is authentic and i'm not sure how authentic marco's is i think marco is actually a narcissist using the calls to get his narcissistic supply of you know adoration and respect and, and all of those things and to sow discord where kind of wherever he goes that is the thing that will separate them i think even if they ever did come together and the, the big thing that I think would hold Drummer back ultimately from any alliance with Marco is Naomi. It's her relationship with Naomi. I don't think she, she would do that to her. So where is Drummer going to end up if she's not going to go with Ashford and she's not going to go with Marco? Where is she going to go? Well, my hope is the Rosie. Because she said she's getting out of politics. The Rosie is not a, a political ship. They try and basically stick to doing what they feel is right in any scenario without necessarily picking a side based on kind of geography so i got i got girl got her hopes up it's that or she's dead so i'm gonna go with the thing that i hope is gonna happen rather than be depressed before i need to be and obviously the very big and scary thing that happened at the end of last episode was miller proto miller shows up he's glitching 
it's like he's trying to speak but nothing's happening and he looks pissed like really frustrated as if he what he really really needs to get this point across but he can't and the interesting thing was his hat was coming on and his hat was coming off when miller removed his hat in the show like back in oh god what the fuck was it it must have been season one it was signifying he was no longer a cop and he was going off on his own so I'm wondering, is that going to signal some kind of independence of Proto Miller from the Proto Molecule and the Creator's plan? Like, is, it, is he going off piste? That's going to be really, really interesting. I hope that is the case. Mars, the plot line there is also kicking off because Isai Martin's crew, including our beloved Bobby Draper, have this mission to pick up a package and deliver it somewhere else but they don't know what the package is and they're being paid 10 times more than they would be normally paid for package so i think the last one bobby's cut was like ten thousand dollars or whatever the currency is on mars so let's say a hundred thousand martian dollars you know there's part of me going is it marco you know, is this where Marco's going to pop up? They're sort of taking him from one location to another. That was that was one thought I had. Um, that's if it's a legit mission, I think it's Marco. But I think there's also a possibility this is not a mission at all. And this is, in fact, a trick. Because the guy that came into this group in the last mission, who suddenly his passcode, access code, wasn't working, they could have been caught then, and they weren't, and they got away with it. And I'm now thinking, was that basically a plan of his to get them caught gone wrong? And so they come back and up the ante so that maybe if they had any doubts about him, the money itself would kind of pull them over the line, which is exactly what happened with Eastside. Because he's like, this is one job and I can fuck off out of here and go, up, go on a colony ship. So... It's tough. I don't want them to do the mission. I think, it, I think it's going to go horribly wrong. Um... But occasionally I'm pessimistic and paranoid when I don't need to be, so, but, but we'll see. Um, I'm feeling actually quite apprehensive going into these two episodes. I got a real chill at the end of the last episode with, with that Miller uh, thing. Not just because it scared me, you know, in the moment, because it, it was scary. It just came out and that, that shape was horrific. Well done effects, people, because that was great sound editing. But also because it just, it felt like, it just felt like a signal to me. Like, strap in, things are about to get fucking awful. So, with that in mind, <laughs> let's have at it. I wonder what that rain tastes like. I used to love the rain when I was a kid. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we got here? What am I reaching for? Reach it. I'll reach wherever the fuck I want to reach. Motherfucker! <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Oh. Fuck being fired, boss. I quit. <laughs> God, can you hear me? Yeah! Oh my god! Call that a win. No hat? It's not my hat. That hat huh? belongs to the investigator. Uh? The proto molecule keeps making out of my corpse hmm? over and over and over again. It couldn't kill me this time. But we might not have long. I, I brought my crew out here because I thought we were helping you, not the proto molecule wearing a Miller suit. Proto molecule's been using us both, pal. <laughs> But being inside your head, watching you give a shit, you helped me. Gave me something to build on, you know. You helped me outsmart the jailer. Yes! Welcome back. So what happens now? I found something. Not what it wanted me to find. No, something else. So I found a place. My new bosses can't go. Every time I reach out, that part withers. If it shuts down, whatever's trapping us here, that'd be a start. 
This planet's already a corpse. Let's go kill its ghost. Have we wait, talked wait. about this? Oh, sorry, sorry, Ovi. A minute, a minute. Oh, okay. First, I got to clean these bloody glasses. Okay, nailed it. So that theory panned out. So uh, as far as we know, so far. So Miller is. So the incarnation of of Miller that the protein molecule created has essentially gone on the on the same character arc. <laughs> as real Miller and ultimately rebelled so he's found something that he doesn't know what it is but he knows that the craters or the proton molecule whatever can reach it but he might be able to through Jim so he's activating Jim that way but obviously that would be the perfect thing to say to Jim to get him to do something that you needed him to do so I'm no closer to knowing whether what's happening is real or not, but I'm excited either way. I don't give a shit. I, I think this is really exciting, so I'm very happy about that. And now let's go back to LV. I got a decaying orbit and a fiery death up here. Don't act like you're special. <laughs> but if we're all going to die up here and down there, I wish I was with you. Mm. With a friend, I mean. I do know what you mean. Is that... Let me call you back. Is that Jim? Yeah, I think that's Jim. Elfie's going! This dead spot may mean that the war left something behind. What? Something like a billion-year-old unexploded bomb? <laughs> something like that. See, this bomb, if it exists, kills every bit of proto-molecule it touches. And right now, that's what I need. And I want to help you. I owe you, but it's not just me. I also need to get everyone away from this place alive. Help me save the ships first, wow. then I'll do whatever you need. You ever met anybody you didn't want to save? <laughs> Look, maybe this does both. If bomb works, I'll use it to kill all the proto-molecule on the planet. Your ships go free. Oh my god. What the fuck? You're sure you can do that without killing us all? No. No. <laughs> but the other option is... Now you watch everyone starve to death while your ships burn. <laughs> and I get trapped here forever looking for something else. Never find. So. Fuck me. We are picking up more drag than expected. We're going to do another burn. Give us two minutes to brace and make safe. Copy that. I don't like it. If they dump their ore, reduce their mass, we could get it as high as seven or eight. We're not there yet. Copy that. The Rosinante is attached what appears to be a towing system to the Barba Piccola. Pause. I'll come back to you in a second, Murtry. I just wanted to pause that, because I had a concern about the Barba Piccola. It just, it was a stray thought I had on the rewatch, and I was thinking about the choice they had. So you start off with the, with the, Alex's approach, which is he's going to get the people off the Barbara Piccola. That's Lucia's daughter. is going to be saved. And then they go. And Lucia then said, if we lose the lithium, we're as good as dead anyway. And it just occurred to me that, like, God, that would be fucking awful if they, as a result of trying to save the lithium, end up losing her daughter. It's like the ultimate failure for her. Because she's already been failing in terms of kind of putting the belter, belter progress, I guess, ahead of her family from the perspective of her family. And I can imagine how much she's going to hate herself if something happens to her daughter. Her daughter could have been fine, but she was trying to save the lithium. So I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it did. It was a thought that came to me of like, God, that would be really shit if something happens to her daughter now. And she could have saved her. Oh, and here's this prick. Play. How much time is that giving them? They just did another burn. Orbital model says they bought the barb another 20 hours at least. But as long as they're tethered, they're extremely vulnerable. If you're gonna use that shuttle and take them out... Instead. Shit. It's okay, little man. You can sleep. I'll be right here when I wake up, huh? Take the village. 
I'm just inviting you to come camp with me. Our camp, not... Does your boss know that you're asking me to sleep over? What is it with you two? At least you give him a chance. He's a pragmatist like you, and he's good to his people. Just because someone is good to you, it doesn't mean that you can trust them. I do trust him. And you guys don't like each other because you're exactly fucking alike. I'd never lie to you. That's the difference. Okay. You want me to climb down there? Climb, jump, whatever. Just get in the hole. Fuck off. <sighs> Let's go. Closer to our bomb. And it's faster than walking, so just, you know, jump in the hole. Oh, then. Oh, where did he go? You're not going in that, are you? She'll go in. You were talking about saving the ships. Can he do that? Maybe. I'll go with you. No. My people are going to die, same as yours. I have just as much to lose. I can't see him when anyone's around. And I need him to guide me. Guide you to what? If what I'm doing actually works. Everyone will know so. What the fuck? Reporting the belt again? They're not hungry enough yet to be a threat. Why? Situation in orbit has changed. We're going to need to take action down here and soon. I'm going to need location on Amos and Holden now. No. <clears throat> no, no, no. Everyone check in. We need eyes on Holden. Copy that. He's not here. Dr. Okoye, I'm going to need all our CE personnel to stay within our camp. What? Why? For your safety. Fuck's sake. No one has eyes on Holden. I don't know where he is right now. I need to know where Captain Holden has gone. And if you know anything about that, you're going to tell me right now. Oh, you can fuck all the way off, and then you can fuck off some more, and then dig really deep, and find some more space to fuck off into. What? Why are we launching a shuttle? Aye. Chief Murtry's orders. Murtry? Why would he even- If you don't already know, it's because it's none of your business. Now sit the fuck down and go back to doing whatever it is you do. This is just shit. Oh. Hey, Doc, you seen Way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one's allowed to talk to her, all right? <laughs> I wouldn't. All right, what the fuck's going on? Holden went with Miller. Motri and Way went after him. I think he's in trouble. Is there something we still need to do? Way, I'm coming for your boss. Don't be there when I do. Shit. Wake up, sleeping beauty. Yeah. Miller! Oh, 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 Where the fuck are you? Oh, oh. What do I do? shit's left over from when the planet died. Yeah, everything they left behind. This shit oh. just keeps following you uh -oh. around, don't it, kid? Uh-oh. Come on. Oh. Get out of my head, assholes! My former master's cracking the whip, wondering why I don't jump. Yeah, why don't we try killing them off for good? See how that works. But won't you die? Oh, yes! I'm going with you. Don't try to stop me. You don't need my permission. But it might be a one-way trip, Doc. We are already on one. 
Cable's too elastic. It's stretching under the stress. I can take up the slack here. Oh, shit. Shit. Sarkis. What? Take it. It's the good, it's good scientist. <sighs> no, I did not. Up to now. No! Oh my god, is the shark gonna go and blow them up? Oh yeah, shit! Up. Edward, is your light shuttle? This is the Rosinante. Here's your on a potential collision course. Please respond immediately. Shoot it! This is the Edward Israel. Go ahead. Yeah, any reason why your shuttle is heading towards us? Stand by, Rosinante. Check out that. Yeah, I'm gonna be needing an answer to that right now. Naomi? What's wrong? I think we might be under attack. From what? Brace for impact. Lucy, a brace! Oh, fuck. RC shuttle, pull off. Change course immediately or I will fire. Barb. It's okay now. We're okay. What's happened with Barb? 